Hello, I'm Dr. Verity Nicholson, an anaesthetist here at Bendigo Health, and I'm here to talk to you today about epidurals for pain relief during labour. The experience and progress of labour is different for everyone. Some women find they cope well with relaxation or breathing techniques, while others find they need more. If you do want pain relief during your labour, an epidural is a safe and effective option. In fact, the scientific evidence shows that epidurals provide the best form of pain relief during childbirth. So what is an epidural? An epidural catheter is a very thin plastic tube that is inserted between the bones of your back into what's called the epidural space. Local anaesthetic is put down this tube which blocks the pain signals from getting to the spine or the brain. This provides pain relief until your baby is born. The advantages of an epidural as well as the pain relief include being able to ask for an epidural at any time during that first stage of labour while your cervix is dilating. Sometimes still being able to feel when the contractions are happening, which can be helpful when the time comes to push. If circumstances mean that you need vacuum or forceps assistance or a caesarean section, the epidural can be used to provide pain relief for these procedures. This prevents waiting for another procedure and sometimes means avoiding a general anaesthetic. Finally, the epidural might be recommended by your team in order to help manage some problems that might happen during your labour, such as high blood pressure. As with any medical procedure, there are some side effects that may occur. Your blood pressure may drop, causing you to feel lightheaded or nauseated. This is easily treated and will check your blood pressure often while the epidural is in place. You may feel feverish, shivery or itchy. You may need to stay in bed because your legs feel heavy or numb. The epidural can take away the feeling or urge to urinate. Once the epidural is working, we usually put a catheter in, which is a tube to collect urine from the bladder, so you don't have to worry about going to the toilet. Sometimes the epidural doesn't provide complete pain relief. If you still have pain, the anaesthetist can come back and give you more anaesthetic or adjust the epidural. Sometimes though, for the best results, the epidural will need to be replaced. About one in a hundred women can develop a severe headache in the days following an epidural. This can be treated. The epidural can prolong the pushing stage of your labour and may increase the need to use vacuum or forceps to help with your baby's birth. However, it does not mean that you're more likely to need a caesarean section. Any serious risks, including nerve damage, are very rare. The anaesthetist putting in the epidural will talk to you more about the risks at the time. Feel free to ask them any questions you might have. So, how does an epidural work? Well, a trained doctor called an anaesthetist will put the epidural in. This usually takes about 20 minutes. Before that, a drip will be put into your hand or arm to give you some fluids. Then we will help you into position for the epidural, which is usually sitting up on the side of the bed. Your back will be cleaned and a local anaesthetic inserted into the skin to help numb your back. Then when the epidural is inserted, you should just feel some pushing in your back. However, it is important to stay very still during this time to prevent any damage to the nerves or other complications. Then the epidural catheter is threaded down that needle. When this happens, sometimes you can get a small electric shock feeling in your back or down your legs. This only lasts for a moment and then goes away uh, and it's not harmful. Then the needle is removed and the catheter is taped into place to stop it from coming out. The local anaesthetic is then given down that tube, which takes about 15 minutes to have full effect. Then the epidural is connected up to a pump that will continue to give you local anaesthetic until your baby is born. You will also have control over your pain relief through the use of a button that's connected to the pump. Then once your baby is born, the midwife can remove that small catheter very quickly and painlessly. Thank you for listening. If it's helpful for you, there's a written version of this information both on our website and in the antenatal clinics. We want to help make your birth experience here at Bendigo Health a joyful and satisfactory one. Thank you.